Caden visited his aunt Tracy's and Uncle Steve's house for a play date with his cousin Tabby. Caden was dreading the affair all day as his slightly older cousin Caden is just over three years old and Tabby is almost four, was super bossy. Caden's fears were confirmed when he arrived at the house and Tabby was dragging him everywhere. His cousin made sure to make known that she was bigger than him. At one point, Caden was in need of a diaper change and Tabby made a big production out of Caden being stinky and how she was so big that she wore training pants. Caden grinned and bared her touting and tried to have a good time. He spilled some juice on his pants shortly after the diaper change his aunt let him run around in just a diaper and shirt while she washed his pants. A little later on, Caden wanted to play on the slide outside, but Tabby had other ideas. She made a deal with Caden in which if he played house with her, then she would go play on the slides with him. Caden rolled his eyes and agreed. Naturally, Tabby played the role of the mother and made Caden play the role of the baby since his diaper was already on full display. Everything was pretty tame at first. His cousin was being her bossy self but nothing more than usual. Then came the dinner part of playing house. Tabby made Caden sit in the little high chair that was in the playhouse. Caden was expecting an empty plate with pretend food or maybe some plastic food that he would pretend to eat. Suddenly, Tabby brought out an actual jar of baby food. Mushed peas too. Yuck. Caden refused to eat that, but Tabby paid him no mind and told him that he would be in trouble if he didn't. Caden huffed and sulked as his cousin poured the mush into a bowl and put it in front of him. Caden again refused but Tabby didn't listen and tried to feed him. Finley Caden had enough and threw the bowl against the wall. Tabby was not pleased at all and told him that he was going to get a spanking. Caden scoffed at the threat as he didn't think Tabby had the guts or strength to do so. Unfortunately for him, she did. Tabby grabbed a hairbrush from her doll set, removed the tray from Caden's high chair, thrusted him out of the seat and wrestled him over her lap. Caden was very surprised at her strength and determination that he started begging her not to spank him. Tabby ignored his pleas, pulled his diaper down, and paddled his bare bottom. Caden got about seven good licks before rolling from her grasp running away. Caden ran bawling into the house with a red hinny and told his aunt and uncle what had happened. His aunt comforted him while his uncle went to deal with Tabby. Not a few moments later, Uncle Steve came walking by and holding a crying Tabby and walking up the stairs to her room. Shortly after the door to her room shut, you could hear the sound of a wooden spoon on the bare skin and a bawling toddler. Caden smiled for the first time during that play date as his cousin was getting her just dessert. Speaking of dessert, Caden was given some ice cream as reparation for what happened while Tabby got an early nap time. About an hour later, Cheryl returned to pick up Caden. Aunt Tracy and Uncle Steve explained what happened and apologized. Cheryl accepted it and got Caden ready to go. Right before they left, Aunt Tracy went and brought Tabby downstairs to apologize. Tabby sniffled through an apology while wearing a shirt and diaper. Caden smiled, hugged her, and accepted her apology. They then said their goodbyes and left.